Hello guys, welcome to this video. Tonight, we are doing a night routine. It is 10 minutes to six. We have all congregated in Morgan's room for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And what I'm just gonna take, here? just my night routine. Oh, sweet. I'm cooking dinner tonight, so um, we can cook <gasps> dinner together. <gasps> and dinner? fish Beef burgers. burgers. What's oh, yes. Are we hungry? I'm kind of yeah. hungry, not gonna lie, but I'm not okay. rushing you. I'm gonna go make some dinner because I'm hungry yeah. too. Um, I'm really eyes deficient. Time to make some dinner. We have fish burgers. <laughs> I just don't really know what's going on right now. put some chips in the air fryer but <clears throat> don't laugh at me please but i'm going to show you guys a little life hack we have these clips but only a very limited number of them so when we have stuff going in the freezer instead of just going for the and hoping for the best we do this but when you cut the top off you cut it off straight and then you use that to tie it up there we go and into the freezer it goes also shout out to pack and save i'm pretty sure hang on the receipts right here eight of these big ass buns for two dollars eighty. Did I read that right? Two dollars seventy nine for eight big bums. <gasps> and they're pre-cut. You don't even get that with like tip top. Right, my timer just went off. I need to turn over my fish. The chips are finishing up. I've just got a little bit longer to go. We have the burgers. Normally we like make our stuff on the bench and then come sit down here, but I just thought it'd be fun just to actually kind of make it. Convenient, not gonna lie. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring the chips over when they're ready. We've got cheese, lettuce, kale, just because we had it, we don't normally have kale, that's not a happening thing. Carrot, cucumber, capsicum, and then that's Danny's lactose-free cheese. I love how Morgan's like, I wanna get the sauce. Don't judge what's on the outside. Judge what's on the inside. <laughs> I have a group call that I need to participate in for a group assignment, assignment, group assignment, group assignment that is due in a couple weeks time. Group Zoom is done and I have a few jobs that I have to do before I can hit the hay. That includes writing down video ideas because I had these ideas pop into my head last night and I haven't had a chance to write them down and so I'm going to write them down. Very excited for some content coming for you guys. You may have just heard Morgan scream from the lounge. It's fine, it's like 20 meters away, but it's fine. I have an Instagram post story to do and an EGS apparel post and you just don't, you don't, you never get peace and quiet in this house. I'm gonna go sit in the lounge, socialize, drink my kombucha. You know it's been a good day when you can finish with a kombucha. Also, I don't know if this flavor is new or whether I've just never seen it before. I'm really hoping it's new because I'd be very disappointed if I've been missing out on this for a long time, but it's my new fave, wild berry. <laughs> It is 8.30 and I'm in my PJs and I'm going to take you guys through, I guess this is really, this part, next part is I guess is what you classify as my night routine, like my get ready for bed routine. Start with uh, the mood lighting. I find when I just have lamps on it helps my body to like wind down better. I'm pretty sure there is something scientific behind that. Could not tell you the word, but anyway. I'm going to take you guys through how I get myself ready for bed and then what I do before I go to bed and then... It's time for bed. Start in my wardrobe. Yeah, that kills the mood lighting, doesn't it? Hang on, I've set my tripod up. I'm gonna put you on the tripod. Where in my wardrobe? And this is my little jewelry box. It's from a daily editor, by the way. It's very cute. I was gifted it like two and three, three years ago, two years ago. It's very cute, but this is where I keep my watch and my necklace. Yeah, jewelry goes in here. I always take my jewelry off before I go to bed, except my two thumb rings, because when, like, it's been so humid the last, like, three, four days and I have not been able to get them off so they stay on and then I also have these two rings which I, I actually need to my princess ring you guys know the classic tiara pandora ring that I swear every man and his dog has got this for my 16th birthday anyway the other day I was sitting at my desk and um I don't know what I did but it went it turned into an oval so I need to get the pliers out and like squeeze it back into shape these just live on this little thing here my nana gave me this for christmas it's so cute it, like i don't i don't know anyway i like it also 
This is completely unrelated to my night routine, but I feel an urge to share this with you guys. I have this new perfume here. I am like, I'm a Marc Jacobs snob. I now have this one. It smells so good. I actually think it smells a little bit like something from my childhood, but I cannot put my finger on what it is. Next, we move into my bathroom where I do my skincare routine. So let's do that. Welcome to the bathroom. It's probably quite echoey in here. So apologies for that one. I'm going to do my skincare routine. I would love to show you guys a really nice in-depth skincare routine, showcase the products I'm using, give you guys some recommendations. But if I'm being honest, my skincare routine at the moment is the most bland that it has been probably in like two years, I would say. Most of you I think will know this, but I have an autoimmune disease called psoriasis, which means that my skin sometimes has flare-ups where some parts of my skin grow faster than others and then it like goes patchy and itchy and it's not nice. Over the last two months, you guys may remember I had like a rash like around my lips and um, then it spread across my face and last Tuesday it was so bad and so I managed to get a phone consultation with my dermatologist up in Auckland because obviously I can't actually go see him because I'm not in Auckland at the moment and he prescribed me some ointment for it which has done the job absolutely amazingly. I'm gonna put a photo here of how my skin looked I'm pretty sure it was like a week ago today or a week ago yesterday. Anyway, around a week ago, that's how my skin was looking. It was not nice at all. Um, I could hardly see because it was around my eyes. My lips were so sore, like I couldn't open my mouth properly. Not the goods. So we're doing a lot better this week, but the new ointment I've been given is like brand new to New Zealand. So it's like not even government funded yet, so. That's fun. A lot of you guys I know have either eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis in that sort of family and this is like an alternative to the typical steroid creams which can like thin your skin and all that fun stuff but this doesn't do that. It's great except the dermatologist did warn me that the first time I use it I might experience like a burning sensation on my skin. I did, I had the worst night's sleep because you put it on at night and then go to bed. I woke up in the middle of the night and felt like my face was like on fire. Apart from that, it's fine, obviously it works so you win some you lose some. With my skin flaring up I've dialed my skincare routine right back to the point now where I'm literally using four products, five including my prescription medication. This is the face wash that I use, it's from Aveen, it is the Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion, it's like an oily based one. And then I do this eye cream which is also from Aveen which is a soothing eye cream, I've been using this for like two years, so good. Then over my rest of my face I have recently just been using a urea cream because that I find that's just a really safe option and it's affordable. And then on my lips I'm onto my fourth tube of this <laughs> because this was like the main problem with my flare ups. Dermal therapy, ultra moisturizing lip balm. So I'm going to take you guys through and uh, just do my skincare routine. Also this is, I don't know, I don't, I'm not proud of this but you know it's the most logical way to use the resources that I have. And I I'm pretty sure I joked about this in my room tour and then after I joked about it I was like Emma that's actually a really good idea. But um, let me just tilt my tripod here. You can't really see but I have two sinks. So I use the one here for like brushing teeth and washing hands. The other one just for washing my face. I know it sounds really extra but it means that like with my skin I know that whatever's like going on my skin is clean because it's like not like toothbrush stuff which could react like anyway in my head it makes sense and I don't think I'm verbalizing it very well. The final step of this routine which is actually a very new step to the routine is I went to the farm the other day and I bought some bio oil. Also shout out to the girl at the pharmacy who knew me. I did not catch her name but I appreciate the dedication that you made. Say hello. When I was year 10, so like 26 to 5 years ago, I was in year 11. I had a, what they call a schwannoma removed from my shin. I don't know if you know. I cannot get my leg that high. It's just like on my shin. I, I have photos on my phone so I will put them on the screen here. They should not make you feel squeamish. But there you go. It was a tumor in my shin, but they weren't sure if it was cancerous or not. So they did like MRIs and X-rays and all that fun stuff and biopsies and determined that it wasn't, but it had the potential to become cancerous if they didn't do anything about it. And so they decided to take it out, which is great because it was just like this lump, just like protruding from my shin, which should not have been happening. So anyway, when they removed it, I have had a scar there ever since. And so last week I started using bio oil and I really wish 
I took before photos because I feel like it's already made a difference. I also have a few random stretch marks over my body and so I've been using on there as well. I'm going to just exit the bathroom because the lighting and the sound in here I know is so bad. Back into the mood lighting we go. I'm going to take my mountain of cushions off my bed so I can actually sleep. I like to set my outfit out for the next day the night before not so much on the weekends but like especially during the week so that i don't have to think about it when i wake up in the morning but i've been absolutely acing the home workouts recently and it's been great so much so that i'm actually gonna cancel my gym membership so love that for me love saving money at night when the mood is set like this i do like to plant myself literally on my bedroom floor and play a little bit of a uh, guitar in an ideal world i do like to practice guitar every day but that doesn't happen i have quiet time every morning for like 15 to 20 minutes and then at night I like to kind of do the same thing and it is now nine o'clock I get so awkward when it comes to playing the guitar on camera I don't know It's time to do my nightly reading. So these are the three books that I primarily read at night. This is the Bible that I actually read out of every day. I started reading out of this when I started going to church last year. I had this Bible when I was a kid and I never used it. Reading the Bible like from front to back this year is my goal and I'm so far up to Acts 18 so we're doing well. That's how far I've got to go. I read this every morning. If I am not too tired I do like to read it at night as well but I don't force that because if I'm tired or like wanting to go to bed I know that I won't take it in as well but these are like my nightly quiet time thing so I switch up the order of what I do these in but this is a devotional book so Rachel got this for me for my birthday this year actually it has like a little devotion with some verses underneath it which relate to what's spoken about there and then these two books here are actually new well relatively new from when I did the freedom in christ course amazing amazing course it's honestly like literally changed my life this course really taught me the power of declaring things over yourself pretty sure you can do this course online if i can find any links anywhere i will drop them in the description box for you guys i just completed today's day of the bible plan that i'm doing with you guys actually i shared up my story on monday and it's a seven day bible plan which we started on monday about joy how it is more than an emotion and a fruit of the spirit it's a really good bible plan i'm loving it so far by the time this video comes out we will have will only be have like one or two days left of it if i remember i will tag it in the description box if you want to jump back and like do it on your own or whatever then you can you may have seen on my instagram post i have a little sticky note up on my mirror it says you're called to more than happiness you're called to joy or something like that anyway it's about john 15 11 about how we're called to joy and joy can be found in any circumstance and that's been something that i've really held on my heart recently especially like during these times where there's just so much uncertainty the situation may look really dire from like a man's perspective God's still behind the scenes working all things for good and that everything like that you can still find joy in whatever situation you're presented with. Anyway I'm just rambling now I need to go to bed it's uh, half past 10 I don't know when that happened. I'm getting up at 6 a.m to do that workout with Taya so that's gonna be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching I've been meaning to do a night routine here since I like moved in. We've been here for like 10 months here I am. Uh, also I always put on lip balm and uh, hand cream before I go to bed and I also drink I've learnt if you drink a lot of water before you go to bed, two things. You'll need to get up in that and pee. That's true. But also, you'll wake up feeling hydrated with more energy. If Matt's frowned the video, comment a light bulb emoji for the mood lighting. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Uh oh. Welcome to Living with Emma Stevens. When she's an influencer, so are you. Through my I'm not standing up.
Oh my gosh, I had kombucha and I could not stop whipping.